December 8, 2012, Christmas Miracle. It's been said, miracles are a retelling in small letters of the same story written across the world in letters too large for any of us to understand. The term miracle is used rather freely today. Some use the term to refer to natural events like the sunrise or to developments of modern medicine or science like miracle drugs. Many of these are in some way wondrous, but are they miracles? A true miracle includes God's direct intervention in the world. Miracles are a call to faith. Surely, the greatest miracle since the creation of the world is God become man, Jesus Christ, which we celebrate at Christmas. This story is, in fact, too large for any of us to understand, but it is not too large to affect life. To help us to understand the Incarnation, we think about what we know and try to connect it with the story. We call the birth of a baby a miracle. Even with the added dimension of God as father and a virgin as mother, the birth of baby Jesus cannot exhaust the miracle of Christmas. We acknowledge the blessings of possessions and are amazed by those who do so much when they have little. The miracle of Christmas includes how the creator of all things is able to establish a kingdom, although born to poverty. We are impressed by how individuals become overnight celebrities We are amazed to witness Jesus' birth being heralded by angels, shepherds, and magi, and feared by a threatened King Herod. Going from what we know to what we don't know may help us understand a little the miracle of Christmas. The miracle of Christmas, however, is not so much in the story of how it came about but in the results, the conception, the poverty, the attention of the shepherds, angels, and others are all cause for awe. But why is the birth of this special child reason for our attention even now? You and I are actually invited into the miracle of Christmas. The miracle is not confined to a story of 2,000 years ago. God still joins with humankind for the salvation of the world. We share in that saving action each time we take a step toward entering into the very person of God. The holy mysteries celebrate that the miracle is alive. With your participation and God's continuing intervention in history, you are transfigured to him. And with the cooperation of humankind as church, God enters society to bring the entirety of society back to him. Each of us reclaiming our place in God is the retelling in small letters of the story of Christmas written across the world in letters too large for any of us to understand, but not too large to give our all for. Let us accept our role as humankind, wedded to God through Christ the Bridegroom, to continue the ongoing work of salvation. The message is not too large. The task is not too large. When we join together with God and celebrate God become man, when we keep in the present the fact that 
Christ is born, glorify him.